Okay, here we are back again with the game Okinawa from Tiny Battle Publications. We are still on turn one, and we are now entering um, phase two, or the command phase. The U.S. player checks the weather and the status of U.S. naval forces for withdrawal. The Japanese player checks the command posture of the Japanese 32nd Army. Um, this game is not concerned with any fleet action, so we don't have to worry about fleet withdrawal. We really just have to worry about the weather and the status, command posture of the uh, Japanese 32nd Army. I went ahead and um, landed the other three Marine divisions. We went ahead and landed the 1st Marines, um, let's see, the 7th Marines, and down here, it's kind of hard to see, but the 96th Marines. As we did in the last, uh, the last example, we did take over the airfield here, and we will s took over the Kadena airfield here, so... We have two of our objectives, but we have a long ways to go. To get down to take the Machinato uh, Hex and the Shuri Hex. We have quite a bit of quite a bit of terrain to cover yet. Um, if I can take those two, then I'll at least get a draw. Failure to do so. I will lose the game so I'm not going to worry too much about taking out some of the other bases uh, Japanese possessions um, we're just going to concentrate on the draw because we only have four turns and I don't know that I can make it in four turns to capture some of the other victory conditions so we're going to go to the weather uh, check the weather status Okay, we don't check for weather until turn 6, so we're going to move right on into the Japanese command control. As the last step in each command phase, the Japanese player rolls a die on the 32nd Army Command Table, which is actually the 32nd Army Stance Table, and cross-references the result with the current month. Do I have, uh, I don't even know if I have a die out for to play this game yet. I guess I'll have to go dig one up here in a minute. <clears throat> Let's see here. If the result is defense, nothing happens and the Japanese player is free to use his units as he sees fit. If the result is counterattack, Lieutenant General Cho Isamu, the powerful chief of staff of the 32nd Army, has persuaded everyone to launch a counteroffensive. In this turn, the Japanese must attack with at least two regiments. Failure to do so results in automatic U.S. victory. Only one counterattack per month may be mandated. Thus, once one is rolled, thus once one is rolled, no more command rolls should be made for the rest of that month. A maximum of two table mandated counterattacks are required for the whole game. Also. The Japanese player is free to launch attacks on his own initiative. If these attacks meet the requirement of the major counterattack listed above, the requirement for the major the month is satisfied and he is not forced to roll on the command table. Okay, I found a couple of dice. I think these will work. The yellow die seems to have come from some other game that I'm not aware of at the moment. Anyway, not sure what the uh, X means, but it might be a football, one of my football games. Anyway, I'm not sure. Let's proceed with the um, the uh, 32nd Army Stance Table. We will use we will use the blue die for the Americans or Army and Marines, and we will use the use the yellow die for the Japanese player. Okay, we're gonna roll. D6, we roll a 4. On the table over here 
It's April. I rolled a four, so it's going to be counterattack. The Japanese player has, uh, let's see. Must attack with at least two regiments. Let's see. He will not have to roll any more. Uh, he doesn't have to roll any more command rolls for that month. Maximum of two. The two table mandated counterattacks are required for the whole game. Let's see. Everyone must attack with at least two regiments. So, I don't see any other requirement other than attack with two regiments. So, I guess that means they have to leave. They have to leave their hexes. They have to leave their hexes. So, that's how that's going to be, I guess. All right. That ends the command phase for turn one.